Hi, Werner from Koiteki again. Today we're going to talk about the discharge behavior of standard alkaline batteries. There's a basic industry test for AAA batteries where you discharge the battery through a 5.1 ohm resistor until you reach the cutoff voltage of 0.8 volts and record how many hours you will get. This data shown here is from an Energizer E92 cell and as you can see we're expected to get around four and a half hours of runtime with a constant 5.1 ohm discharge. Uh, we will run a no-name AAA cell here uh, and simulate this 5.1 ohm resistance with the OTI arc. Uh, to do this, we we have a script that we have written that's available on the web, um, which will emulate a certain resistive load. Uh, and it will con constantly adjust the current sunk by the OTI arc, depending on which voltage we are uh, sensing. So we have uh, hooked up the AAA cell directly to the main terminals of the OTI arc. And when we start this script, it will measure the, um, the battery voltage and it will start to apply uh, the specified uh, number of milliamps uh, to get the resulting current from the 5.1 ohm resistor depending on the battery voltage we sense. And as we can see, as the voltage drops, uh, so does the current. Uh, we will fast forward uh, until we have a few hours of this recording. And this is the uh, result when we have reached the 0 0.8 volt cutoff here. And the complete recording here is six and a half hours long. But what's interesting, if we zoom in here, we can see that this no name cell did not give us nearly the four and a half hours. It's actually cutting out at two hours, 40 minutes. But the interesting part here, if we compare the datasheet curve, this is uh, basically the, uh, the voltage curve that uh, we're expecting to see. It just happens a lot faster. Interesting to note, our current sinking will show this as negative current, which will be less negative as the current is dropping and we finally turn the current sink off here after we reach the cutoff. What then happens with the battery is that it actually recovers some of this voltage and goes back up and reaches here in the end an average of 1.34 volts. Uh, it means that we haven't actually spent all the capacity when we do this fairly high rate discharge of a, such a small cell. So you can actually get more energy out if you do this over and over again after it has been uh, resting a bit. Uh, we will talk about more pulse discharges in a later video and uh, the difference this will make in how much energy you can actually use until it's considered spent. That's it for today. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. For more uh, discussion about energy optimization, please visit our forum at koitech.com.